we unknowingly saved the best destination for last on our Colorado trip, Estes Park. Prior to our visit, we heard great things about Estes Park and got an early start to pack in as much as we could for our last day in Colorado. We're just going to walk around the uh, little shops here and then we're going to have lunch and go to the Stanley Hotel. Since we love bears, we prioritize visiting a store called Bear's Den, which is filled with a bunch of bear paraphernalia. How cute is this place? Then we got some of the best gelato we have ever had at the Sugar Shack. Estes Park is nestled into the Rocky Mountains and has adorable shops and restaurants. Ever since a man named Griff Evans established a dude ranch here in the late 1860s, Estes Park has become a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts. After walking around downtown, we made the short drive to the Stanley Hotel for our tour. After spending a night in the Stanley Hotel alone with his wife, Stephen Keene got the inspiration for writing his famous novel, The Shining. The movie was not filmed here though, it was filmed at the Timberline Lodge in Mount Hood, Oregon. The hotel offers tours during the day which focus on the hotel's history, and they also offer night tours which focus on the paranormal history of the hotel. Due to our time constraints, we chose the historical tour. We weren't allowed to film anything during the tour, but we took photos. The hotel was built by inventor Freeland Oscar Stanley in 1909 as a resort and a health retreat for sufferers of tuberculosis. Stanley himself had tuberculosis and survived after retreating to Estes Park. The tour ended by going underneath the hotel in which we learned that the hotel was essentially built on top of rocks, although it is surprisingly structurally sound. After the tour, we drove to Rocky Mountain National Park. Our reserved entry time was from 4 to 6 p.m. to avoid the crowds, but it was still pretty busy when we arrived. We made it to Rocky Mountain National Park. First on our list is Bear Lake, and then we're going to go to Sprague Lake. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then we're going to test out Trail Ridge Road and see how far we can get. Bear Lake is one of the most popular spots at Rocky Mountain. It's considered an alpine lake, meaning it sits at an altitude of 5,000 feet or more. Bear Lake is one of the four alpine lakes at Rocky Mountain National Park. The others are Nymph Lake, Dream Lake, and Emerald Lake. different ways to get around the park. The way that we're taking is driving in because our reservation was from four to six so there aren't as many people in the park but if you're gonna come like midday you might as well take the shuttle and the shuttle will take you around the park um, too but it was just easier for us to drive in. This is so sad. There used to be water here, but now there's just a small stream. The Sprague Lake Trail is a very easy half mile walk around the lake. The area is named after Abner Sprague, who started a homestead there in 1874. Sprague opened a lodge for fishing, dude ranching, and hunting called the Sprague Hotel. In 1919, guests paid $6 per room, and they even got their own private bathroom, and $1 for meals. 
The hotel, which no longer exists, stood near the present-day parking lot. We are at Trail Ridge Road now, and we are going to try to do as many stops as we can before it gets too dark. Trail Ridge Road is a scenic highway that covers the 48 miles between Estes Park on the park's east side and Grand Lake on the west. The highest point of the road is at 12,183 feet. The temperature changes dramatically as you climb up the mountain. It dropped about 30 degrees as we went up, so definitely bring layers. When we reached this spot, we encountered three different couples taking wedding photos with photographers. The view was phenomenal from there, so we can see why it's such a popular spot for photo shoots. Well, there's supposed to be a glacier here, but sadly there's not much left of it. We've made it to the tallest point of Trail Ridge Road. And now we have some time to kill, so we're just going to walk around the Alpine Visitor Center area, even though it's closed, and then just wait for the sun to set. We returned to our car and drove to an overlook nearby to watch the sunset. We're about to head out of Rocky Mountain National Park. We just wanted to catch the sunset before we left. This is a perfect way to end our trip in Colorado. Definitely save Trail Ridge Road for last if you come here and definitely come here during sunset. It's very cold. It dropped like 30 degrees. So we came prepared with sweatshirts, but as you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful and we appreciate you watching.